All right, everybody. Welcome back to another video. So, I did a Minecraft video, and um, a lot of you guys seem to be genuinely interested in how I've made that possible. Well, I got two options. I got the easy way and the hard way. The easy way is um, you totally skip the reterraforged customization and generate your map directly into version 1.20.4 of Minecraft. The second option is a little bit more complicated and it's what I'm going to be basically basing my video on, okay? Um, I'm doing this in the morning so I will be sipping some coffee during this. Uh, it's probably gonna be taking at least like 10 minutes so buckle up. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a full guide on how to actually make it so yeah, I'm also gonna be stepping up a notch and show you guys how I've managed to, well, basically create my map. Hmm. Ah, I just realized I will need my seed, so give me a second. Give me one second, because the seed is the only thing I do not have prepared. Quite literally. I need to get the seed off of the other video that I have made. There we go. The other video has been open in another page, on another screen. Everything's gonna be linked in the video description below, by the way. So, go ahead and install the Modrint app, okay? Now, after you have installed the Modrint app, you will... Uh, well, first of all, it's gonna ask you to log in, blah blah, do whatever the app asks you to do. Go to Browse, go to Mod Packs, install two of these uh, simply optimized mod packs, okay? You need two. After you've installed two, uh, first of all, make sure one is in version 1.20.2, the other is in version 1.20.4. You will need two separate profiles, okay? Two separate mod profiles. After you made that, make sure you name them. One Retraforge, the other Distant Horizons. Make sure you click on Options. Uh, if you cannot follow with the video, make sure you, well, either stop step by step or just put it on 0.50 speed or 0.25 or something. Uh, make sure you <clears throat> override global Java installation before you have actually installed the second profile, okay? Just in case. Override global Java installation. You can set override global memory settings and set it to 8,000 or something. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 16,000. I'm gonna allocate 16 gigabytes to this because you will need a lot of memory for this. Let's actually check both of them, make sure they are... Okay. I will set 16 to this as well, just in case, you never know. Alright, so what you can do is you can either click add content here, on this arrow, add from file, or you can add directly from Modrint. What I do is usually um, do this, and here is the other part of the video where I am going to show you guys everything you need, okay? While I sip some coffee, make sure you get the links from the video description. This is the GitHub for the Retraforged. Uh, it's also here for versions. You got branch 1.20.2. Now what you could do is you could uh, get this and uh, compile it yourself. Or the sensible thing is to actually get it from my other link, which I will be linking. Or if I have forgotten, you can just go on my Minecraft has never looked a better video. And you can get it from the Google Drive link in case I just randomly forget to actually add that to the video description for some reason. Now you will also need uh, to go hop on the Iris shaders dev. You download this. This is the Iris Sodium pack, if I recall. And it also comes with the latest version of Distant Horizons. Then you will need Terralit. Now make sure you download Terralit for 1.20.2. Okay. And then make sure you download Terralit for 
okay? Keep in mind, I said two separate profiles, so make sure you separate everything, okay? Also, make sure it's for fabric. So... Just make sure everything is okay. Because <laughs> not all versions got forged and fabric, okay? Get Tectonic. Again, everything's gonna be linked in the description. Get Tectonic for 1.20.2, 1.20.4, okay? Just make sure you get everything. Now, here's the thing. We do not have a version of Biome Zooplanty for fabric for 1.20.2, so we will completely skip Biome Zooplanty until the initial map generation, okay? We will be generating the map in 1.20.2 again. Uh, that's the only way you can customize using Reterraforged. The other way you can generate your map is completely ignoring the additional customization and use Reterraforged default settings. Which is what I have done on my initial map. And then you can also get Distant Horizons from here, okay? You can go for the 1.20.2 version if that is what you desire. But, again, you shouldn't be getting this. You should be getting the Distant Horizons from here because it's much easier. <laughs> you get the latest version, which is the... um, Let me see. It's the Alpha... 2.0.2, the, the Alpha Dev 124, okay? That is what you want. That is what you need. Just make sure you don't uh, install the Iris Shaders uh, randomly into your Minecraft uh, folders. Any of them. Do not install this directly into your Minecraft folders. You only need Distant Horizons for this because um, simply optimized... Okay, the mod packs you have installed previously already come with uh they got sodium and everything. So this should already technically work. Okay. If I recall, uh you actually need iris for the shaders, but we'll skip that for now. We are only talking about the map generation, okay? And using Distant Horizons with it. If you all want to customize even further, you can do that yourselves. This is not what the guide is about. Then you will need 2032 world height. This is increasing your build limit from the 319, which is default Minecraft, to 2031 in all dimensions, okay? This is a very important mod because you will be having mountains that are very high. Okay, they, 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 they're big. Okay. We are using Terralit, Tectonic, and Reterraforged. Your mountains will be big. Massive. Huge even. Alright. Now, after you have downloaded everything... I'm gonna close this so I make sure I actually open the correct ones. Uh, you can click like so. Click folder, okay, put this down, go to mods, and uh, let me actually bring up the rest. There we go. Now, make sure you, you don't mess with the 1.20.4 version just yet, because we do not need that. We need the Reterraforged pack, which is Tectonic Fabric Terralit for fabric again and Rita forced for well fabric for 1.20.4 we will be doing this and we copy them in I'm gonna hit replace cuz yeah now what you want to do is uh, make sure you got everything you need for these I'm just gonna go grab my other mods cuz I'm pretty sure I got a version of these uh, no not fear nightfall that is Totally different. Alright, let's see. We got Terralit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Tectonic real quick as well. But before that, I need to make sure I open the folder for Distant Horizons. There we go. There we 
go. There we go. Derelict. Tectonic. Okay. Here's the world height. You do not add the world height to your uh, 1.20.2 version. You add this after you've generated the initial world. Okay. So, you want uh, the world height. You want the uh, tectonic terolith. And you want biomes of plenty. Okay. You want biomes of plenty in the, the distant horizons version because that's 1.20.4. Okay. All right. Now, if you've kept up so far, you also need to know that you have a data pack for the world height thing. Okay. Copy that. In your data packs for the Distant Horizons 1.20.4 version. Okay. Now, we can close this, but I'm gonna let you all know uh, the reason I am not adding Distant Horizons. Where's the mods? The reason I'm not adding Distant Horizons just yet, and let me actually remove this real quick so you guys don't get randomly confused. Okay, it's. <clears throat> the reason I am not adding Distant Horizons to this just yet is because I will be continuing generation on 1.20.4 after I have generated the initial, uh, let's see, about a thousand or two thousand chunks in 1.20.2 with a uh, Ritara Forge customized, okay? Again, this is what you need for 1.20.2, nothing else. Because uh, Simply Optimized already has everything you need. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into, well, Minecraft. I'm going to make sure I enter the correct version, which is the Ritra Forced. I'm going to make sure I skip scene real quick when that opens. Because uh, Minecraft may crash due to OBS. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do this real quick. So, single player. Uh, first of all, make sure it's 1.20.2, because I know it can get confusing. Make sure you click world, keep it on default, okay? Click customize. And then, uh, well, you can add a preset if you open preset folder i have created a preset for uh, for the, the the test but again you do have default options so if y'all are wondering how i made this possible in 1.20.4 it's because uh Ritter Forced is using the default settings excuse me you're using default preset okay uh Ritter Forced works but uh, the event handler does not. So it needs to be updated to 1.20.4 because the second you click on customize on 1.24, you will insta crash. Okay? Just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my seed. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna also do this. So this is gonna be weird real fast because I have just added my custom preset. Onto my, well, basically custom seed. And I'm gonna call this custom seed plus preset guide test. If you know what I mean. Uh, I haven't done this previously. So I do not exactly know if this is gonna work properly. Because I am using my, my seed from, uh, <laughs> you know, 124. I have tested this in 1.18, by the way, and my seed still works. So if you want that, you can get it for basically any version of Minecraft, but you will lose uh, anything that I may have had in 1.20.4. Because, well, mods and such, and also game additions. So, yeah. Now you create a new world. Warning. Uh, your settings are experimental, basically. So you will click yes.
All right, we gotta wait just for, for a little bit. There we go, there we go. I got a lot of frames. It's fine. We don't need 32 chunks. I'm gonna pump this down to, well, oh my God, brightness. Oh, oh whoops, <laughs> wrong setting. Give me a sec, there we go. We don't need such high render distance. Six is fine for what we're doing right now, okay? My frames are 2,000, Jesus. All right, we need Chunky, okay? Now, what the, I will suggest is you do this. Just follow along with what I'm typing. You do center, enter. This is gonna take the center of the generation uh, to be your location. That's what it's doing, okay? It's setting the exact location of where you are. Oh. Uh, this is how you can check. So, again, it's uh, 2038.5, 1034.5. That is basically almost exactly the same. It's just a little bit dislocated, but it's fine. That is, that is what you want. You want it to be as close to you as possible. So, what you do now is chunky radius. 1000 or you can set it to 6000 which is what i would suggest you do on your initial generation but if you do that it's gonna take hours uh, i have an intel i7 if i rec i need hold up i need to check i forgot it is the new pc and i keep forgetting what actually is inside uh it's a 13 gen i7 13 f which is actually very good in my opinion for the, what I for what I would consider to be on the cheaper side of, of the GPUs, even though uh, or of the CPUs, even though it's very very expensive still, <laughs> in my opinion, it's basically the entry level to OPness. And then you hit chunky shape circle is what I suggest usually and what I do use usually. And then uh, I do hit progress real quick, just to make sure no task is running, first of all. Uh, and also to basically unblock Chunky, because sometimes the progress bar does not show, or the progress just doesn't want to update. And then you hit Chunky start, okay? You can also do Chunky selection. It's going to tell you the exact selection you got. You can check progress. Apparently there is no bar in this version. Uh, this is probably going to take a while. Even for me. Yes, it is. Uh, if you do not allocate enough memory, it's going to be bad. Which is why I have allocated 16 gigabytes. Because if you're checking my memory usage, it's allocating 2000 megabytes. Almost 3 gigabytes. And yeah, it is filling pretty fast. So you need at least 8 gigabytes, in my opinion. But this is only gonna go higher the more mods you add, okay? The more mods you add, your memory usage is gonna get higher, it's gonna get more annoying to save the map. So the more memory you got, the better, okay? Also, Minecraft is acting a little bit funny. Uh, the more of the map it has generated. I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. So Mojang, Minecraft, Microsoft, maybe fix Minecraft, please? It's been ages. We need this game to run properly with mods because this is one of the best games of all time currently, in my opinion. I think Minecraft is hitting a new golden age for mods and for shaders. Again, Bliss shaders is what I usually uh, use. Y'all should be getting the uh, Coven Resource Pack, is what I suggest. That is what I use with my Bliss Shaders. Okay. And the game just looks awesome. You, I mean, you saw that in my last video. Now, this is going to take a little bit. So, I, I think I'm gonna speed this video up. I don't really want to edit, honestly, but... All right, I'm gonna... Uh, do I pause? I don't really want to pause. You know what? 
All right, I'm gonna open to no, I'm not gonna open to land. Never mind. I forgot to actually put in the cheats, but it's fine. You you can also see we already have the mountains, okay? So the mountains are in. We are very high right now. Literally in them clouds. Quite literally in them clouds. Okay. Just just to show you guys that this does work. We are very high right now. Let me actually bump up the chunks to 32 again. Yeah. Keep in mind, I do not have distance horizons running when I am generating the chunks. The reason for that is very simple. Uh, I did say I will maybe edit, but I'm not because I do have to explain this. The reason you do not run distant horizons when you are generating chunks is because the LOD generation from uh, distant horizons does not fuck with the uh, chunky. So, and not, not only chunky, when it comes to generating the map and also generating the LODs at the same time, the game will crash. Okay, it's very, very difficult for the game to generate both at the same time because of how much uh, resources you are using. Look at how high we are. <laughs> Look at how high. This is default, by the way. We don't use Distant Horizons. Now, could you imagine if we ran Distant Horizons with this? Keep in mind, this is my, my uh, world map seed. And... I am also using the customized preset, which I will not be sharing, by the way. But yeah, uh, everything can be done through coding. <laughs> if you know a little bit of coding, you can do that. It's not hard, honestly. It's not that difficult. If I can do it and I know I don't know jack about coding, then y'all could do it pretty easily too. But look at how high we are. Let me check uh, Chunky Progress. No task running. That is perfect. All right. We will save. Just to make sure everything's okay. Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to close everything because um, I don't want to confuse the folders randomly. Now. After you have finished uh, this, you will open the folder. Go inside the... There we go. Let me make sure I close it again so y'all can follow. Open folder on the Retaraforged one, okay? The Retaraforged profile needs to be the one that you are opening. Make sure you open save. And there it is. There's your map. Okay? Now you will copy this inside the Distant Horizons save folder. Okay? Now, make sure you got the mods. So, 2032 world height is what you need. Um, where is it? Tectonic, Terrolit, and uh, Biome Zooplanty. Okay? That is what I use. Now, you can technically add anything else that you want right now. But, but, make sure, and I mean make sure... That the initial mods that you have are the same as you have used on 1.20.2. Do not remove those mods. It will fuck up the generation. It will fuck up everything. Your save, your world, you will corrupt everything. It's not going to work anymore. Okay? You will crash all the damn time. <laughs> so make sure whatever you used to generate first does not get removed. Also, if you plan on generating terrain further, do not add distant horizons yet. Okay? No, I'm gonna check again, but... See, I did click here, and I'm, I did show you guys just now. Add after chunk generation, distant horizons. Okay? Again, I'm making sure I do not have it. Just double check. It will crash. Believe me when I say that it will crash your chunk generation. It does not work. Don't generate with distant horizons inside. Or turned on. If you have added it. I don't know if that's gonna mess with everything, but... Okay. So, I did forget about these. So you need Glitch Core and Terror Blender 
for uh, Descent Horizon. Uh, let's see. I think it's for Biomes or Plenty, actually. I did forget. Yeah, you need Terra Blender. Everything's here, so it's fine. Also, you need Glitch Core. I did forget. I'm sorry. It's a lot of stuff you need. So, you get you go ahead and grab the latest version. And the Glitch Core. And... Uh, let's see now. Make sure it's for Fabric. And it's 124. Okay. Just make sure you don't grab the incorrect versions. Because it's gonna be bad. Luckily... Minecraft tells you what is missing. <laughs> I did forget about these. So you also need these two. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, make sure I got the correct scene. Now... If you click on edit, you can do shit here, okay? If you want to create world, I'm going to show you guys. If you click here, with Reteraforged installed here. By the way, do, do not run. I mean, you could. You technically could. This is what I did. And you could technically keep uh, the Reteraforged inside. You know what? I'm going to run it for once. Because I've never done this before. I'm gonna do a bit of live testing. <laughs> uh, whoops. Wrong one. I'm gonna add Ritara Forge to the Distant Horizons one as well. Okay. Now again, we're using custom. So, it is what it is. Which means... But if I'm using the custom one, I should also be adding the other one. Pretty sure. By other one, I mean the preset. Yes. Now I need to figure out where the preset is actually stored. I think it's in config. Yes. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna be adding this to my, uh, my thing as well. To the distant horizons 1.20.4 just to make sure it uses the exact same settings i know y'all didn't see much i just realized so let me actually okay i keep having to switch scenes because minecraft crashes for some reason it is weird all right so what i did was uh, take ritara forged and made sure I added it to the Distant Horizons 1.20.4 version. Also took the Ritara Forge uh, config and added it to Distant Horizons 124. Okay. And now I'm gonna start it again. I need to check something real quick. Alright, it should technically work, but again, I, I keep having to switch off main display, because it is what it is. Alright, so if you do this, if you create new world, if you do this, customize, you're gonna insta-crash. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. I just wanted to show you guys what actually happens, because I know a lot of people have been telling me uh, their games are crashing when they're trying to customize and they they thought Ritara Forge was not working. It is. Alright. Yeah, here we go. And then uh, what is gonna happen now is, first of all, your map game version, your world game version, has been changed from 1.20.2 to 1.20.4 uh, from this step forward do not go back okay don't go back to 1.20.2 it's, it's bad do not do that so what you want to do now do i not have chunky in this all right 
I I need the. I'm sorry. I did not know I don't have Chonky in this. Give me a second. I did not know we don't have Chonker. All right, we are going to look for Chonky. Come on. We need Chonky. It may be the same version, but I don't technically know. I'm just going to use the latest Chonky version for this because it is 124. I was not aware that I do not have Chonky. All right, I don't think we need anything else for Chunky specifically. But just in case, I'm going to read the description real quick. Mm, nope, does not seem like we need anything for Chunker specifically. So I'm going to do this. Make sure I add it to correct folder. And profile. And run it again. I do want to generate, okay? Now again, the idea is not to use the Bliss shaders right now. The idea is to, first of all, generate the map, okay? Also make sure we... We got everything working properly. Seems like you don't need to select the, the data pack. It's fine. All right, now we can use Chonker. And we do Chonky Center, okay. Chonky Radius, one, uh, not 1000, let's make it 2000. Chonky uh, Shape Circle. Chonky Start. And now we're gonna do the progress. Now for some reason the bar does not show for Chonky, even though it should technically have kind of like a boss bar. Not sure why it's missing, but from now on your map will be generating uh, everything using Biomes o Plenty as well, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is chunky progress, first of all, to check the progress, and then I'm gonna do pause. Because I did forget to... Uh, sure, I will allow. There we go, allow cheats on, make sure I put my world into creative right now, so I can go into spectator easily. And then, after you hit pause, you can just chunky continue. And there we go. We are gonna be generating the, the world right now, okay? Big Mama Mountain. Everything else should technically be using the... Uh, Customized Ritera Force preset we have used in 1.20.2. We are only 33 minutes, huh? And since we have added the uh, biomes of plenty for 1.20.4, we will be having that as well. Now everything should be working fine. Y'all should not be crashing at this point. Nothing should be going wrong. Yeah. And what I could do is not use the customized preset, use the default settings and just generate the world with my normal seed. Yes, that is also an option you guys have. But I did this just to show you guys that it does in fact work. Also, this mount is pretty big. Holy. I am. All right, let me go check the other side of the mountain. Okay, we got some buildings in here. Everything can be added on top now. Again, tectonic terrolith and everything does work together. We don't have mod menu, so I can't really check for settings and such right now, but... I do recall not having any settings. But anyway... Everything works, okay? That is the main point. Everything works. Do I look for a body of water while this is generating? Again, I do not have any shaders on currently. We don't technically care for the shaders right now. 
What we care is for the world generation itself. Um, I may... I may pause real quick because this is gonna take a while. I may pause and I may save and exit world just to add the distant horizons. But at the same time, I may just wait this out. Again, at this point, after you have finished generation with Chunky, specifically with Chunky or Chunk Pregenerator or whatever uh, Chunk Generation mod you plan on using that is fabric compatible, <laughs> uh, you can, after you have finished generating, you can in fact add Distant Horizons on top. Which I will be doing right now. I'm gonna stop Chunky. Uh, you will have to do... I don't think you can do stop. If you cancel, it's gonna... Well, first of all, it's gonna stop this generation. But the problem with cancel is that it also deletes your current generation. So just do pause. Okay. You do pause. I'm gonna set myself here. Go into creative. So I'm not floating, okay? Then I'm gonna save. I'll quit. And I'll also just remove those. Then you enter Distant Horizons. Oh, this should be fine. Okay. And then you grab this real quick, add it in here. You know what? I'm gonna see if uh, without having uh, Iris installed, if the shaders work. I doubt, but I mean, I could check. Let's see. I'm also gonna add me, me Coven resource pack to this. Let me add mod menu helper. And I think that's it. Did I forget something? I did forget this. I did in fact forget this. Wait, no, that's a data pack. What am I doing? Alright. Uh, let's see, shader pack. Bliss. There we go. I doubt this works without having a uh, iris installed, but I will check. Did I add distant horizons? Have I added distant? I have. All right, going back in. Also kind of doing live testing as I'm showcasing how to do this. <laughs> Everything should be working fine. Okay. Let's see. Single player. Can I do anything from here? I don't think I can. I was trying to go directly into... It's fine. Alright. Now we got Distant Horizons running. I will add the resource packs. Okay, resource packs are working, very good. I believe the, the mod one may need something extra, but I may have forgotten. Everything seems to be okay. Now I'm gonna boost this up. Uh, 1024 LOD render distance. We're going to high, we're going to aggressive. Yeah, sure, this is fine. 12, this is fine. Um, my GUI scale is a little bit funny, but let me... Okay, yeah, the, the shaders don't work because we don't have a uh, iris. But, anyway. This is how you generate the world using Ritara Forged in 122. How you apply everything 
to your 1.20.4 version of the game. And as you can see, everything is working properly. It's taking a little bit to generate the LODs because of the very, very high uh, render distance that I have chosen. But everything is working fine. Reterraforged with Biomes plenty for 124 with Tectonic Terrolith with Distant Horizons. My, my cover resource packs are also working. World Height should also work. You got big mountains, you got everything you want. Everything is cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have learned something. If y'all want a new guide on something, or if y'all want to play Minecraft on a server or something, do let me know. If y'all want to generate that world that I have created previously with the world seed, and want to improve on that, and you want me to play it with you, do let me know. I will do just that. This map seems kind of cool as well. I'm not gonna lie, the mountains are huge. Everything is, is uh, working properly. Shaders are the only things that are missing because I have not added uh, the iris pack. I have only added the distant horizons. Yes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.